Thank you for seeing my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to upgrade the laptop from an SSD hard disk, a normal one, to an M.2 SATA hard disk, the little one. And I'm going to show you also the temperatures and everything about it. So don't forget to uh, click on the links uh, below in the description. It's going to help me. And also, if you like, like the video, dislike the video, leave a comment and enjoy the video. As you can see right now, this is the booting up of the computer with a normal SSD. So the time that it's going to take with a normal SSD is around 31 seconds. And this is the boot up time with a normal SSD. So we have a benchmark in order to uh, see what it's going to do. So now as you can see, this is the benchmark of uh, rebooting the computer. And to see the time that it's going to reboot. As you can see the time on the rebooting of the system. This is only to benchmark and to see if the M.2 is going to be uh, better in rebooting or uh, no. So this is the M.2 SATA that I bought. This is from Transed. It's a uh, 512 gigabyte, and it's going to be enough to put the operating system. It's uh, Linux on this uh, case. It's going to be the Fedora uh, 31, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, now uh, this is how it comes. It comes in a plastic, very minimalistic, and also it's a very small one because I have only this uh, space to put it in this uh, computer. So before putting the M.2 SATA in the computer, I need to take the battery out and also to take out those uh, screws on the back side. I already made a video about that. You can see it on the link that I'm going to put here up on the left side corner of this video which I already ex explained how to upgrade and I'll also upgrade most of the computer uh, on the previous video. So now you can see this is the place where I can uh, put the M.2 SATA. So this is the space as you can see it's a very small space and that's all space that I can put it. That's why I bought this a uh, small M.2 SATA SSD so it can also uh, get in this place. As you can see the place is exactly for this M.2 SATA for the small type of the M.2 SATA because the big one, well as you can see I cannot put it and I'm not going to uh, to break one in order to put it there. So as you can see it was one screw out, put the M.2 SATA in and then screw it in with the same screw in in order uh, to put it safely on the computer. And as you can see right now I'm only taping the wireless antennas that they were there in order not to uh, do any damage to the SATA SSD. So this uh, white cable is only for the temperatures that I'm going to measure from the SSD. So uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start uh, cloning the SSD from the SATA one to the M.2 one uh, with the clonezilla and after that uh, I'm going to show you how it's going to work. I'm also taking uh, temperatures measurements from the SSD M.2 in order to uh, see what are temperatures that are going to be without the heatsink and I also bought a heatsink and I'm going to show you at the end uh, what were the temperatures with the heatsink and without the heatsink.
So now I'm going to uh, boot the computer with the M.2 uh, SATA SSD in order to see how good it's going to uh, be. So now uh, what you're going to see is the reboot time. So you're going to see how long does it take when I'm uh, pressing to the reboot uh, button until it's going to uh, reboot and uh, you're going to see it on uh, the screen how long that is going to take with this uh, M.2 so this is the SSD, the M.2 SSD I took it out in order to put the heatsink so this is the thermal pad as you can see the thermal pad is the one that is going to be the connection between the um, well between the chip of the SSD and the heatsink in order uh, to uh, reduce the temperatures of the SSD because as I'm going to show you after that the temperatures without the heatsink they are very high if you're using it without an heatsink and it's going to uh, reduce the uh, well, it's going to reduce the life of the SSD it's going to also reduce the use of the SSD so as you can see this is the heatsink on the SSD and without the heatsink it's going to uh, jump the temperatures as I'm going to show you after that so uh, I uh, need to put it back to the computer so I'm going to uh, put it back to the computer and uh, I'm going to uh, also make an, uh, a test in order to see uh, what are the temperatures and I'm going to speak about it in a minute. So as you can see those are the temperatures of the SSD M.2 the 10 temperatures they are on uh, Celsius not Fahrenheit so uh, the, without the in-sync and on rest so without opening any other special programs only uh, the computer when it's on so it's going uh, to be a torrid degree and when uh, working it's going to be a uh, 60 degree C when you are uh, trying to transfer uh, some files or taking files from this uh, SSD card so it's going to uh, go up to 60 without the uh, heatsink so with the heatsink there is a surprise that it's 25 C when it's in rest when you are not transferring any kind of files when the computer is only on but when you are uh, actually working with the uh, SSD, so transferring files or uh, programming and transferring from some program files or taking files from this uh, SSD, so it's going to be a 35C. So I think that the heating is making a job and it's going to uh, reduce the temperatures from the SSD. So it's going to uh, work in a let's say normal temperatures like uh, other uh, SSDs and uh, it's also not going to uh, slow the workflow of your uh, computer when you are transferring some files or when you are uh, doing something that is going to uh, make it uh, work very hard so in conclusion I didn't saw any uh, difference between the reboots with the M.2 uh, SATA SSD and with the normal SATA SSD well, only the temperatures they were a little bit high when I used the M.2 SATA SSD but I uh, could it, I could uh, also uh, take this issue out with a uh, heatsink so I hope that you uh, like this video if you like press like if you dislike press dislike and don't forget on the links on the description and also leave a comment so thank you